Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given a quartic equation m power 4 plus 4 equal to 0. And just keep in your mind that we would find all the solution whether they are real or non-real. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. We are going to manipulate this given equation. We are going to add 4m square and subtract 4m square at the same time. So therefore, our this equation could be written as m power 4 plus 4 plus 4m square minus 4 m square equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and tweak this m power 4. This could be written as m square and then whole square. Likewise, I can write this 4 as 2 square. So therefore, we can write m square and then whole square plus 2 square plus 4 m square minus 4 m square equal to 0. And now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square. We are going to apply it on this part. So therefore this part could be written as m square plus 2 whole square. And then I'm going to write down this part as well minus 4 m square equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and tweak this 4m square. This could be written as 2m whole square. So therefore this whole equation is going to become m square plus 2 whole square minus 2m whole square equal to 0. And now let's recall this uh, another identity, the difference of two squares, a square minus b square. Let me go ahead and call this our a and this our b. So therefore, this equation could be written as m square plus 2 and then minus 2m times m square plus 2 and then plus 2m equals to 0. And now let's go ahead and write these two polynomials in a descending order. And now we got these two factors equal to 0. Let's go ahead and separate them. I can write this one as m square minus 2m plus 2 equal to 0. And the other factor is going to be m square plus 2m plus 2 equal to 0 as well. And here we got these two equations. And we can see that both of these are our quadratic equation. And we are going to solve it by using the quadratic formula. And here's our quadratic formula that we'll be using to solve these quadratic equations. Let's focus on this very first equation. We are going to solve it by using the quadratic formula. And here in our case, a equals to 1, b equals to negative 2, and c equals to positive 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula. So m equals to negative, and then b value is negative 2 plus r minus b square means we have a negative 2 whole square minus 4 times a is 1, c is 2, all over 2 times 1. Now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. Negative and negative become positive 2 plus r minus this negative 2 square is going to become 4 minus 8 divided by 2. And this could be written as 2 plus r minus square root of negative 4 divided by 
2 and now let's focus on this square root of negative 4 let's go ahead and manipulate this thing negative 4 square root could be written as 4 times negative 1 and let's split them that's going to become square root of 4 times square root of negative 1 and we know that the square root of 4 is simply 2 and now let's recall the imaginary number i i is always equal to the square root of negative 1 so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, square root of negative 1 by simply i therefore this whole thing uh, could be written as 2 times uh, i so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this square root of uh, negative 4 as uh, 2i so therefore I can write this thing 2 plus r minus uh, 2i and at the denominator I'm gonna separate this one I'm gonna put this uh, 2 individually and now we can see 2 and 2 reduced to 1 so therefore our m solution equals to 1 plus r minus i let's go ahead and split this positive and negative uh, signs so therefore we're going to have two solutions m equals to 1 plus i and the other solution is going to be m equals to 1 minus i. Now let's go ahead and solve this second equation and here in this case a equals to 1, b equals to 2 and c equals to positive 2. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this quadratic formula m equals to negative 2 plus r minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times a is 1 c is 2 all over 2 times 1 so this is going to give us negative 2 plus r minus 4 minus 8 divided by 2 and that is equal to negative 2 plus r minus square root of negative 4 all over 2 and now we know that square root of negative 4 is simply 2i therefore this whole thing could be written as negative 2 plus r minus 2i and let me write down 2 as individual fractions so therefore our solution m turns out to be negative 1 plus r minus i now let's go ahead and separate these two signs so therefore we're gonna get two more solutions m equal to negative 1 plus i and the other solution is going to be negative 1 minus i and here all of our solution to this uh, given quartic equation thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye